So Minotaur is a software system that we're currently developing that will enable a robot to accompany a person on foot. Um, for example, you might use this kind of robot to carry additional equipment. Um, the army, uh, for example, has a mandate to uh, lighten the load on soldiers who are carrying a considerable amount of equipment as it is. Um, or you might use this sort of robot in a disaster relief uh, situation if you need to get supplies from one point to uh, areas that you know are going to be very tough to get to. Uh, one of the things that makes Minotaur special is that you don't need to control the robot uh, actively. You don't need to use a joystick um, to tell it where to go. Uh, you can just walk and it will accompany you on its own. And you can uh, tell it where to go and what to do using natural uh, commands. So hand gestures, um, you can point, tell it to go in a particular direction. Um, you can speak to it and tell it to go home or go to a, a, an already established waypoint, for example, um, and, and that sort of thing. So it really takes the burden off of the person who's using it, and it gives you um, an extra team member that can uh, pull some weight and stay out of your way. So for Minotaur in particular, um, this is a project that takes us outside, and we really have to be able to actually test it uh, outdoors in some representative environments. That means we can't do the usual thing where, you, where we just take it out to the parking lot, um, as all roboticists do, and, and, and test it behind our co uh, company building. We have to actually take it out to, uh, to, to, to rural areas, uh, bumpy, hilly, uh, wet terrain, and, and make sure that it works in those conditions. Um, one of the things that we're excited about with the Husky in particular is that it's a very capable uh, machine. So it's very comfortable on rugged terrain, um, it's very stable. It's also very easy to work with. One of the things that's really nice about the Husky, uh, compared to some of the platforms that we worked with previously, is that not only is it outdoor capable, but it's actually also very easy to interface with. So some of the previous platforms that we've had to work with um, required the use of proprietary interfaces, which took us you know, a solid two or three months to develop it, uh, a wrapper for, our own controllers for, uh, we had to figure out how we were going to interface hardware with it, both in terms of power and just plain old where are we going to put this sensor on this on this robot that wasn't meant to take an extra payload, right? Um, so uh, with the Husky, we were able to take the ROS nodes that we'd already developed uh, and get them up and running in about a day or two's time. 